but moving on to the earnings front, TCS kicked off the IT earnings season, beating street expectations in the first quarter. The management says almost all verticals in major markets have returned to sequential growth. Reema Tendulkar is here to decode the numbers for us. Reema. TCS reports a beat on revenues and margins as it declares its Q1 FI25 numbers. Constant currency revenue growth for the company has gone up by 2.2% ahead of street expectations of 1.5%. This is aided by a strong ramp up of the BSNL deal because if you look at the internals, the India revenue has gone up by 14% on a quarter on quarter basis. So the top line growth is a function of the pickup that we've seen in the BSNL deal, but it's a beat on expectation. Margins too at 24%. 0.7%. It's down 130 basis points on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, but better than street expectation, which was expecting, which was anticipating a decline of 150 basis points due to the wage hike. One reason aiding the margin, um, you know, performance is the sharp contraction in the subcontracting cost. Subcontracting expenses further declined, and that's pushing up the margins. Profits too have come down, um, have fallen because of the, you know, margin pressure, but better than street expectation. Two more internals I'd like to highlight. One. TCD, the total contract value of deal wins stands at $8.3 billion. This is lower than what we've seen in the prior quarter, which was $13.2 billion, but that's because last quarter saw a bump up due to the Aviva deal. $8.3 billion is still within the management's quarterly you know, deal win run rate of $7 to $9 billion. And on the supply side dynamics, uh, the headcount for the company has gone up after three quarters of a decline. So this quarter, they've added nearly 5,500 employees as attrition continues to further take down to 12.1%. All in all, it's a good showing from a TCS strong start to Q1 FI25. All right, some sequential growth is what we are seeing across verticals. Thank you so much, Rima, for joining us. Let's also listen in to the CEO, K. Kriti Vasan, talk about the key revenue levers for the quarter. So when you have a couple of quarters of degrowth, the contribution overall percentage will come down. And also you saw uh, the revenue coming in. Uh, you know BSNL is one of the key uh, uh, revenue levers for us. So when BSNL is non-BFSI and revenue comes from other sources, so BFSI contribution naturally comes from. And also stay tuned to CNBC TV 18 as we will be speaking to TCS MD and CEO K. Kriti Vasan, CFO Samir Sikh Sarya and Chief Human Resources Officer Milin Lakkar today at 9.45 a.m.